In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure the RF module. You will need the RF module, a PC, a serial connector, a USB to RS485 adapter, and the 24 volt power supply rated at 3 amps. To set up the RF module, you will need to connect it to a PC with a copy of the RF module software version 1.6. Connect the device with the cable using RS485 to USB adapter. Then connect the power supply to power it on. The power status LED will light up green to indicate that it is on. In the Windows search bar, open up the device manager. Expand Ports category and double click on USB serial port. This is the port that you connected your RF device to. Under the General tab, you will see a description of the port type followed by the COM port number. This is important to remember as you will need this when configuring the device. Click on the Port Settings tab and check that the board rate is set to 9600, data bits to 8, parity to none, stop bits to 1, and no flow control. Click OK and exit device manager. Open up the software. Firstly, you will need to ensure the COM port is open. Click on the green toggle icon called COM located on the top left corner. Make sure the COM port number is set to the same port number as your device. Check that all the port settings are the same and click open. The status of the serial port is displayed at the bottom of the window. Here it says serial port open success. Now click on search. A successful search will return a message telling you which COM port the RF module was discovered on and its port settings. Click OK. Followed by the search, the software will read the settings under each parameter. The only parameters you need to set are channel, serial port, RF board rate and RF protocol. Select a frequency range that won't interfere with any other instruments. The serial port settings are the same as your PC's COM port settings. And the RF board rate must be set to the board rate of the inverter you're connecting it to. Otherwise, no data will be transmitted. To configure a setting, click on Write. If successful, a note will be displayed at the bottom saying Write Parameter Success. Click on Read RF Protocol and it should return compatible. You may leave everything else as default. The second RF module must also have the same settings. Now, the RF module is successfully configured. Click on the exit icon on the toolbar, then repeat this for the second RF module. 